Game Demo. Hey everyone, Sophia here in Santa Monica. I'm joined by Steve Faulkner, lead designer on Puzzle Quest 2. Hey, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So tell us about Puzzle Quest 2. It's obviously a sequel. Um, yeah. Well, it's really a return to form with Puzzle Quest 1. We've taken everything that we really, really enjoyed about the first game and everyone else enjoyed about the first game, and we've evolved it. It'll be instantly familiar to people who played the first game, but now, rather than just taking place across a big world map, you're down in the dungeon with the monsters, uh, fighting with the same old puzzle battle, but there's a lot of new things going on in there as well. Yeah, I got to see some of the changes now, like the world view. You can actually see your character walking around. What are some other um, changes that you guys have made? Well, we switched out a couple of gems in the game because we found that experience and gold, well, you've been given them at the end of the combat anyway, so we didn't really need those. We've put in a new mana gem. And the biggest change is we put in a thing called the action gem. It's a fist, and when you match these fists, it powers up and activates a weapon. So it's three ways of damaging people in combat now. You've got skulls, you've got spells, and you've got weapons. Extra way of damaging people. It's one, one way of hurting people. It's more fun. So, <laughs> and there's also uh, four different classes now. Can you go over each of them? Yeah, we have four different classes. We had four different in the first game as well, but they're new classes for this one. There's the Barbarian, the Sorcerer, the Assassin, and the Templar. And they owe their design kind of to MMO classes. You've got the Templar, who's the tank, the Barbarian, who's kind of a generalist, the Sorcerer, mm -hmm. who controls the board, and the Assassin, who's a real damage dealer. Oh, so what's the story in Puzzle Quest 2? Like, how do you get started? Okay, the first thing a character do, does in Puzzle Quest 2 is he rolls up in the town of Valoran, and he finds it's bad stuff's been happening in town. It's a pretty cliched fantasy story. The first thing you do is fight a bunch of rats and go in. But uh, it all takes place in this dungeon in Valoran. A demon has kind of woken up in the dungeon and he's starting to try to take over the town. You've got to work your way down through the dungeon mm -hmm. and uh, defeat the demon. Real classic stuff, but it really gives this wonderful old nostalgic feel of the old dungeon crawler. Yeah, and there's also a lot of mini games that have been included, so can you go over some of that? We've got eight different mini games in there now. Now, you don't have to play any mini game to get through the story. You can just play puzzle combats all the way through if you want. But for those people who felt like they needed a bit of a change up from puzzle combat after puzzle combat, you can now pick locks, you can break down doors, you can disarm traps. Everybody's favourite is the looting game. When you come across a chest in the dungeon, you can actually loot, pick loot from the chest, you play this little mini game and you get all this cool stuff at the end. It's like Santa's sleigh overturned and gave you all these items. It's really, really good fun. And how long is the game going to be, you think, to get to go wow. through the main storyline. Um, if someone just does a quick speed run through the game, we figure it's going to take them 20 to 30 hours. There's a ton of gameplay. If you want to do every single thing in the game, I think there's easily 50, maybe 60 hours in there if you want to do everything. If you want to play a run through on every single class and do everything though, uh, we'll see you sometime next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what uh, consoles or platforms is it coming out on and when is the release date? Okay, we've got Xbox Live Arcade and Nintendo DS coming out. The Nintendo DS release date is June 22nd. Xbox Live Arcade is around about then sometime. Uh, but we're saying early summer at the moment. Well, we've just announced also the PC version of the game mm -hmm. and also mobile iPhone, iPad versions of the game. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Steve. You're welcome. And that was our look at Puzzle Quest 2, so be sure to check back on our game space for more coverage.